Hello world and welcome back to a mysterious episode of Golfing the Villages. Today's installment takes us to one of the most disliked and despised executive courses in all of the villages. This course regularly comes up in conversation as the course that consumes the most balls and at times is borderline unplayable. If the superintendents aren't actively removing native area growth, you can be left with totally blind tee shots to pins you can't see and flags you can't laze. I personally have seen the course in the condition I described above, making it a difficult task to say the least. I think the most disappointing thing about this course is they closed it for several months in order to make repairs and I assume give the greens time to heal, but their efforts were in vain as the greens are in really bad shape. It's an odd situation for a course that people tend to avoid. I won't keep you in suspense any longer, but today we're going to tackle Pelican Executive Golf Course. Pelican is a level 4 rated course which can play from 1,171 yards all the way out to 1,777 yards. This course actually has as many as five different possible teeing grounds on several of the holes. However, the standard green front, gold middle, and black for the tips does apply to this course as well. Today we're randomly linked with Brad, John, and Bill who are a part of a larger neighborhood group battling the course. As fate would have it, Bill is the very same Bill who appeared on a recent episode of Jerry and Linda's channel, The Village's Florida Newcomers. The episode was Man Talk, and Bill shared his village's story. I will go ahead and place a link in the description and pin it in the comment below. If you haven't already seen it, it's a great watch. Without further ado, let's get after it. Good morning, everybody. 8.32 a.m. on the first tee. I've got written down 155, 155. This is an 8-iron. This is one of the tee shots, though. If the growth is up, it's really difficult. I push this one a little to the right. Looks like it's going to hang out there. Not the greatest strike, but it's safe. Rumor has it there's a guy that'll come out and yell at you if you're picking up balls there, so don't do that. All right, uh, anyway, this is where we're at. I uh, got a little chip shot here. I'm looking to fly it all the way to the hole. I did not shot trace this one. This is a 56 degree sandwich and just checks up a little bit on me. It's fine. I've got this little putt to try and save par. No, never had a chance. Tap in bogey. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for the likes and the subscribes. It really means a lot to me, and I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. This is the same situation here. If that growth was up, you can't even see the green. You'd have to go over to the cart path to lay the flag. But it's not the case today. 146 to the pin, flighting a 9-iron. Perfect. Whoa. Low trajectory. Exactly what I want. Going right at the pin. Now oh, wow. sitting tight in for birdie. Yeah, nice. yeah. All right, Bill also hit a beauty in here. He's got to look at birdie as well. Oh, just a little away. Right to left. Took yeah, right to left. I'm line my putt up. Read There's a lot of slope here. It's really tricky. I think I can make birdie. I think I can. Oh, no, I guess far, not. Okay. I'm the little engine that can't. There's a lot of far. slope over here. Yeah. All right, and on to the third hole, and here again, you would see if the growth was up, you can't see anything. So luckily it's down 170 to the pin. I drew the seven iron, trying to get it all the way to the back. Oh, not a great strike, kind of soft. I'm really begging here. 
Hoping it gets on the green and ooh, short in the bunker. Yuck. No one to blame but myself. So lining up a bunker shot before I dig in. Um, just taking my time. This isn't too difficult. There is a big slope left to right, which you'll see in a moment after I hit this. See, there's a big slope there, and so mine kicked to the right. But we've got this little chance at par. You can see the greens, and I wasn't even online. I just didn't have a chance. So now to make bogey in the hole for bogey. Well, here's a hole we don't have any vegetation, but we have water to deal with. I normally bang at those two trees uh, off that house right there. I've actually driven this three wood into the greenside bunker before. This is a lot of club. You're, you're actually correct. I should have taken an iron. This is straight, not drawing. It's at the trees. I'm worried it's got to get down, and it's going to be long. Yeah, it's in the shadow of the tree. This is 45 yards to the pin. I've got a really good angle. Um, no excuses here. I've got a 62 degree lob wedge. I'm looking to fly it most of the way. And I just oh. didn't hit it. Just hey, kind of soft. Down. Barely got it on the green. Not what you want to do. So right when the ball gets closer to the hole, it's going to roll away and go want to go down toward the water. And uh, I just can't coax myself to hit it hard enough to get it down there. And so I still leave myself with a very dangerous putt for par. And it hopped. You could see right away it hopped. And then it had no chance. So I mark it, put a spot on it, and now I've got this comebacker for bogey. All right, in the hole for bogey. All the So this is Bill on the fifth hole. It's 129 yards to the pin. I don't know what club he's got. I know he uh, he's using some PXGs. We were uh, commenting on that. He's obviously a lefty standing on the other side of the ball. And I was joking with him. He's making the YouTube rounds. <laughs> nice ball, high. Now turning over a little to our right. He's gonna miss the green, but about hole high. Good shot for Bill. Dang it. And this is Brad. Uh, also, 129 yards to the pin, uh, back on the right side of the tee box. I don't have a club for him, unfortunately, uh, but this is their money hole, so we were recording their shots. And this one gets up a little bit. Looks like it's gonna miss the green a little short. Um, disappointed with it, but it's still fine. And this is John with his tee shot. Again, 129 to the pin, don't have a club. Hits it high, short, right. Gonna miss the green on the right side, but it's fine, it's safe. All right, and yours truly, stepping on the tee there. 136 to the center of the green, 129 to the pin. I've grabbed myself a pitching wedge, just gonna hit it soft, give it a chance. Perfect strike. This is all over the flag, painting it, begging, begging for the hole in one. Okay, it's just short, it looks like. Chance for the. <laughs> yeah. All right, this one wants to go up the hill and my left to right, our right to left as we look at it. And I just didn't get it up high enough. Couldn't get it on there. So we got this little par saver. Are you oh, kidding me? Right the hole the turned it. That is a bogey, unbelievable. I haven't snapped a putter yet. 
All right, so 310 to the center of the green. This is the other par four. I've got three wood. I'd normally am in the center of the fairway with this club. And uh -oh. wow, I hit a bullet unintentionally. Get up over the bunker and found the fairway. Lucky boy. All right, so the fact that hopped over the bunker gave me 115 to the pin. This is gap wedge. Uh, it's slightly above my feet and on the upslope. Causes me to tug it left a little bit. It's left of the flag, but it's on the surface, and we've got to look at birdie. Now whether we can drain the putt for birdie, that's a different story. So here we go, we're gonna roll it up to the cup and leave it short with a lot of meat on the boat. Why, why not? All right, so can we save par here? This is definitely savable. And oh, I think I left the face open. Bill was mentioning that to me and that's probably what's happening. If only I could putt a little bit better. 102 pin, 102 marker. I love this shot. This is a soft little gap wedge for me. I'd like to leave it below the hole to get the uphill putt. And this thing is gorgeous. Great strike all over the flag. Got a chance. Looks like it sits and it's actually a little long, but on the green for birdie. So I am trying to hit numbers when I hit those wedges, and this one was a little long for me, and I didn't want to be above the hole for this reason. Yeah, hit this downhill putt. Yeah, nice roll to it. Yeah. But that's a good lag for I'll a guy struggling a little bit with the putter. It's nice to have a little tap in for par. All right, as we step over to the eighth hole, it looks like 125 to the pin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, not hit the gap wedge hard. I'm going to just hit the soft pitching wedge again. I'm really fond of this shot. Just an easy, smooth stroke. Maybe off the toe a little bit. Came up a little softer than I wanted. Just off. So using Texas Wedge from off the green, my MO's been leaving them a little short, and this one, wow, it's moving and grooving. I hammered that one. Skated out to there. I've got this uh, very difficult comebacker for par. Line it up. Rolling it up to the cup, and oh my oh, gosh, a horseshoe. Dirty dog. Someone call for the robbery. You were not Yeah, that one, that one stung. All right, 155 to the pin, 159 center. I'm gonna go eight iron here. This is another one where if the vegetation's up, you're in trouble, but it's not, so we're okay. Hit it, came out low. Actually, the club slipped in my hand a little bit, a little moisture, and I made the green side bunker. Good news is the 
The sand is somewhat soft. It's not completely packed down. This is my 56 degree sandwich. I dig in, flip it out really nice. Go in the hole, go in the hole. Oh, really good leave. This is a, a good chance at a, a sandy up and down and to save par on the ninth hole. I have no words for that. That, that did look like what is happening that. here? Oh my gosh! Get in the hole for bogey. It's gonna put the finishing touches on Pelican today, and even though I avoided donating any shots to the native areas, I wasn't immune from dropping shots in the field of play. Finishing seven over par is a bit unfortunate. My poor penmanship also cost us some vital information, however. Uh, I would like to congratulate Brad, who I know had at least one birdie, and I think Bill may have had one as well during the round. They were a fun group of guys to play with, and hopefully I'll run into them again. If you enjoyed this round, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you on the course.